my channel, I cover geek news every single day, but it isn't every day that I get news that makes me this excited. Everybody, I'm Robert Storms. Welcome back to the channel once again. If you're finding me for the very first time, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. I want to take this time to thank each and every one of you guys for helping me get over that huge milestone of 15,000 subscribers. Seriously, guys, I could not do it without you. And to celebrate that, I'm going to be doing a special giveaway this week. I'm going to be giving away an Ant-Man and the Wasp pop figure. How do you win the pop figure? Well, you simply have to be a subscriber and you have to use your Twitter account using the hashtag AM Pick Me Storms. If you don't have a Twitter account, don't worry. You have a whole week. I'm not picking a winner till next Friday. So be sure to jump over there now, make an account, follow my channel and use that hashtag. And next Friday, I'll randomly choose one person to win the pop figure. So earlier today when I was out and about running some errands, news hit that Showtime has greenlit a 10 episode Halo TV series, which for me, it's just fantastic. I am a massive Halo fan. I love the Halo franchise. The world is so deep, so rich, and I've always wanted a live action movie. And we did sort of get it with Forward on the Dawn and Nightfall. And those movies are fine, but anybody watching it can tell that it's really low budget. The special effects just don't hold up, but I do like the story that they tell within those movies. So now Showtime has greenlit a 10 episode season of Halo, and this is huge for several reasons. One, Showtime has the budget to spend. They can make the show look authentic. They can make the show look as good, if not even better, than what we've seen in the video game, and they can really bring that world to life, and I think Showtime is a perfect way to do it. Another benefit of it being on Showtime is that each episode is going to be an hour long and possibly be rated R. They have no restriction being on a paid cable channel. They can pretty much do anything they want. Does that necessarily mean we're going to see gold and nudity and sex and everything that doesn't mean that for sure but it does let the creators of the show have more of an opportunity to express themselves and tell the story that they want rather than being restricted like they would be like on a sci-fi channel or an AMC Showtime gives them the ability to do more with the source material so the real question now is What's this show going to be about? Is it going to be about the Spartan program? Is it going to be about the Covenants? Is it going to be about the Halo Ring or the Prophets or the Master Chief? What exactly is this show going to be about? And the answer to that question is, we really don't know. The only answer we have for sure is that it's going to be a 10 episode season and one of the guys who worked on Roger the Planet of the Apes, Rupert Watts, is going to direct and executive produce this series. So it does look good because Roger the Planet of the Apes was a fantastic movie. So that really gives me some, some hope for this series, and I hope it's really successful. Now, me as a Halo fan, what I want to see is not necessarily the Covenant War right away, because there's so much mythos in the Halo world that people don't realize that humans were at war with themselves. The outer colonies were at war with the inner colonies, and the Spartan program was made to keep the other colonies in check. It was basically a galactic civil war between the humans, and it wasn't until the Covenant attack that the humans banded together and the Spartans were then used to take out the Covenant and that's pretty much where the first Halo game and Halo Reach kind of takes place but the best thing about Halo itself is the history, the mythos. There's books about this, comic books about this, video games about this. There's so much mythology behind that series that is more than just a video game. And they can really take that and explore that in a TV series. Now, I am a little bit skeptical for a couple reasons. One is, I like the idea of it being on Showtime. I named all the benefits of it, you know, no restrictions, hour long, 10 episode season, great stuff. But I'm kind of worried because a lot of people aren't going to pay to see it on Showtime. And if people aren't going to pay to go see it on Showtime, then maybe the show won't get good enough ratings. And what happens if it's a great show? It's an excellent show, right? But it doesn't have the ratings because people don't want to choose to get Showtime in order to watch this. So what's going to happen is the show could possibly get canceled at the end of season one. I'm hoping that's not the fact. I'm hoping that Showtime really puts some research and resources behind this show and they deliver a great great 
first season of Halo, and I hope it really comes out to really please the fans. And I hope it brings in newcomers that heard about Halo, but didn't know where to start. Hopefully this brings in new fans and hardcore fans alike. And I, for one, am excited about this. I am so excited about this. I can literally talk about this for hours. But unfortunately, I can't do that. But I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Showtime Greenland and a 10-episode season of Halo, a live-action TV show? Be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Once again, guys, you find my channel for the very first time, be sure to click that subscribe button. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.